Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. This is going to be another you versus them video series. And this is going to be for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So how this works, there's going to be two tarot decks, one on the left, one on the right. And this represents you and your soulmate. I'm not going to specify which one is you because in the past when I've done that, I would get a lot of complaints that the energy is reversed. So I'm going to pull six cards from each tarot deck and you choose which side represents um, or resonates with you rather the most, okay? So um, it's gonna be um, six cards, two for the past, two for the present, and two for the future. But I also read them vertically and I read them as a whole. So kind of like in a story setting. And then with this particular deck, um, this is the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. This is going to show me your overall energy, okay? So Spirit of the Universe, give me a divine message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I've already pre-shuffled, but I'm just going to shuffle a little bit on camera. Please give me the combined energy of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in your soulmate. Please give me the combined energy of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter in your soulmate. Usually I find that this card kind of represents the lesson. So we have healing begins and we have the six of swords being presented here. Um, I did start your reading, but I didn't have enough memory space. But the, the card that showed up in the previous reading was their hermit card. So this is about moving um, on possibly or moving to karma waters um, for some of you guys. And obviously the name is very telling. It's telling, it's it's speaking of healing, okay? So I feel like there is a period where you might not be communicating with your soulmate because you guys are kind of, kind of healing um, from maybe some past heartache um, related to the soulmate in question, okay? Um, with this card, it um, the keywords um, associated with it is um, are release, heal, assistance, and hope. So the first word jumped out at me because, like I said, the first reading, the hermit came out, and that was also about releasing. And I feel like um, something was released. Okay, either both of you guys released this connection um, in order to heal yourself. Okay. Um, the energies around you now are guiding you towards a better place concerning dealings of the heart. These energies bring new information, new ideas, and new people to you. They will assist you in evaluate. In, they will in, assist. I wish I could talk. They will assist you in evaluating your current situation and help you improve it. Even good situations can be made better. What are your hopes and dreams around relationships? Be comforted that you're being moved in their direction now this is a time of healing a time to let go of the past issues and move steadily forward better times are just around the corner the letting go may include difficult relationships the need to control a fear of being alone or anything else that causes stress and unhappiness by releasing them you free yourself to embrace the supportive energy around you allow it to carry you onward and let the healing begin so again i do feel like there's a release of some sort of stressful situation you, the relationship may have been stressful on both sides and i feel like there is an energy that um you guys may have um finally accepted that you need to move on from it okay this is on both ends of the, of the spectrum if you guys are just taking a little break you're taking this break to heal okay from past situations past issues so this is the soulmate on the left i'm going to shuffle on camera and i'm going to pull six cards to see what the energy is for the soulmate on the left ace of pentacles in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse Four of Swords, I had this in the last reading in the same position, in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse. Future Potential, Ace of Swords in the upright, and Judgment. Wow. So there is a new beginning here. So there's a new idea here, and the Judgment card represents some sort of rebirth, some sort of judgment call. This is also about... 
completely letting go, releasing. Bottom of the deck energy is the king of pentacles. I'm sorry, the magician in reverse. Okay. Let's do the soulmate. Okay. <laughs> we got six of wands coming out. So I'm going to continue to let the cards come out as they please. Okay. Six of wands. This can represent moving on. Give me another card for the past energy for the soulmate on the right, please. Another card for the past energy for the soulmate on the right. And then, I'm sorry, six of wands and six of pentacles. We have two sixes here. So these two cards were trying to come out, but I'm not going to take them. I'm going to continue to shuffle, let them completely come out. Two more cards for the present energy for the soulmate on the right. So remember, this is a general reading. It may not apply to you. Okay, so there's no need to let me know that it's confusing or it's too all over the place. If it's confusing you, that means it's not the reading's not for you. Okay, it's not resonating with you. When it resonates with you, it's not going to be confusing. It doesn't matter how all over the place you think I am. When the reading resonates with you, you're going to know it's for you. Okay? You're going to understand what's being said. So we have the temperance and the justice card. And for the past energy, I'm sorry, for the future potential. For the future potential. I'm crazy. Too many cards. So I'm going to... Just need two cards here. Two cards. Two cards for the future potential, please. Two cards. I don't think people understand how much energy it takes to kind of to do this type of work. Um, it, it, you're connecting. I'm connecting with thousands of people or whoever's watching. Hundreds of people, you know. Um, so I'm picking up on different cancers, okay? And again, I'm reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Two more cards. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. One more card. And the Ace of Cups. Interesting. Somebody on this side has a new love. Okay? Possibly. But we'll clarify to see. Oh, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. This person may want to reconcile. Okay, on the right. But again, let me just check my camera. Okay, make sure everything's in frame. Good. So, let's get started. So, on the left, I could tell you um, already off, off the bat that this soulmate on the left has definitely separated themselves from this situation. Okay? Um, in the past, I see that there was some sort of a rejection. Um, there was a missed opportunity to come together with someone to collaborate. Um, the soulmate on the left wanted to have some sort of, of uh, com they wanted a diff uh, the relationship to move um, in a different direction or maybe they wanted the relationship to move out of just maybe a friendship into more of a committed solid relationship or they wanted to have more um, energy and work put into building a relationship, okay? But it seems like there was some level of rejection or an offer that was being um, offered by this person was retracted. It's like someone was offering, but then they took their offer back. The Three of Pentacles in reverse can be third-party situation, can be um, more than one person involved, but I see that this, because it's reverse, I see that somebody took themselves out of the equation or they didn't, they didn't want to put in put in any additional work in building this relationship. So no work was being put in, okay? Let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for the past energy. Um, I'm also seeing, because if you see, if you add this pentacle to these three pentacles, that would be four of pentacles, and that would be that solid foundation. I feel like this person was offering their pentacle because they wanted the relationship to be more, um, they wanted to build it on a more solid, uh, solid grounds, I guess. Okay. Um, 
they wanted it to be stable. They wanted to, it to be more of an equal give and take, okay? More of a balance here. But somebody was not putting in as much effort or work, okay? There was a lack of coming together. There was a lack of collaboration. Um, I feel like maybe someone wasn't helping financially as well to someone. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone stopped investing, okay? So this is investing you know, um, putting in work, waiting for the fruits of your labor. Someone felt like they were wasting their time on the left. Okay, the person on the left or the soulmate on the left felt like, let me rephrase how I'm, I'm saying it. Because if I say someone, um, it could be either or. But whoever this is on the left, they felt like they were wasting their time. Um, they felt like they put a lot of work in, but they weren't getting anything back in return. Again, we have pentacles. So this is about stability. This is about... We're not talking about money or finances here. We're talking about us uh, coming together and putting in the work to build a foundation because we have one plus three pentacles here. That would be four. But somebody wasn't putting as much effort to do that. Tower comes in because this was a faulty structure, because this relationship was not built on a found, solid foundation, the tower comes in and breaks all that up, okay? Um nine of wands somebody gave up somebody felt like they couldn't do it anymore felt like it was too hard or it was a struggle and somebody on this side doesn't didn't want struggle love i can tell you that right now and i think the tower is the epiphany like you know what this is not working i'm i'm not getting any fruits of my labor i've been putting in my time and energy it's not being reciprocated you know and this could be third party so let's clarify the three of pentacles is this third party Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is being clarified by the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands can sometimes denote some sort of third party, someone dealing with multiple people. Someone felt burdened by this. This could be third party, someone felt very burdened uh, and they decided to lay down the burden, okay? So for the present energy, I feel like someone decided to pull back and go into a state of isolation to allow themselves to heal because this was a very difficult we have a nine and a ten of wands nine of wands is the wounded warrior he has been through it all and he usually holds on he usually perseveres but i see someone being carrying a heavy burden and I, when you see the nine to ten that's an ending this person on the left was very tired okay tired of the struggling or just trying to hold on to this it became a burden so let's look at the person on the right okay wow <laughs> the person on the right has the page of swords and the six of swords six of swords so same thing so it's clarifying the six of wands and this is about someone getting some sort of clarity or some truth um and they decide that they want to move on okay they want to move forward to um Karma waters, you know, to a less stressful situation because whatever clarity or truth or whatever they, this could just be with the page of swords cutting something out. So I feel like this person made a decision that the only way they would have um, peace or live, you know, or avoid stress is that they cut out anything, you know, that causes them stress. So I feel like. They made a decision to move away from this soulmate here. Okay, let me move these over. Just want to make sure everything's in frame. So definitely, I feel like this person um, cut out the person on the left. Okay, whoever the soulmate on the right is. Um, and they decided that they wanted to move on. Okay, I feel like with this um, Six of Wands card, this person may have been a little bit egotistical. This person may have been getting some sort of recognition. It might be popular, whoever this is. Um, this person, um, but I feel like this person is more focusing on some sort of success or they're moving forward to something else that they find to be more balanced, more, more harmonious that may, um, or maybe to someone that it was more generous. Um, I also see the person on the left felt like there was no equal give and take. Maybe they feel like it was a lack of balance as far as what they were giving towards the relationship okay so i definitely see that as well so this is also what this person 
on the left is thinking, you know, maybe there was a lack of give and take, or this person may have been given to more than one person with the Six of Pentacles on the left. I definitely see that as well. This person, it's a possibility that this person was giving their time and energy and money to somebody else, okay, or other people. And the Page of Swords is also a new phase, okay? So this person wanted something new. They wanted to move on to something new. Again, something more balanced. So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles in the past position? But I definitely feel an energy of them giving to other people. Because the Six of Wands, he's not looking at this soulmate at all. I feel like this person just likes attention. You no. Know? But I feel like they were moving towards something that they thought would bring them a lot of success. Maybe another relationship. So we have the Six of Pentacles being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this person on the left, um, I'm sorry, on the right, I apologize, you guys, the person on the right, the soulmate, um, was focusing on, mon on something that has to do with finances because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse um, could be some sort of financial issue. They may be dealing with some domestic issues as well. They were in another relationship, maybe something committed, because I feel like there's some sort of focus on some the pentacles here. We have six of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. So there was a focus on maybe some sort of stability, um, some sort of um, family matter. Um, it feels like they were providing for a family or there may have been some sort of... Um, Family issues is what I'm picking up here because it's in the reverse with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person is being generous to or needing to provide with the Six of Pentacles um, or needing to hand, because I feel like there's a handout or this person it has a lot of responsibilities financially or some ties to some sort of family matter that they had to focus on, okay? Or that was contributing to the stress factor. Okay, with that ten of um, that ten of pentacles in reverse, so there was some sort of discord, um, some sort of loss, you know, financial loss or just loss in general. It could be a, a, a maybe a divorce. I'm seeing for somebody or some sort of misfortune. Let's clarify the ten of pentacles further. Clarify the ten of pentacles. Um, and their present energy, I feel like temperance is about, this could be a reconciliation or this could just be this person finding their balance finally because it looks like, yeah, page of wands, another page. So, again, some sort of new beginning after some sort of fin financial loss, maybe some sort of family issue, probably some sort of um, discord within their family. Or maybe their marriage, there could have been something going on. If this was a third party, this person may have been married and there may have been some sort of um, friction. And I feel like this person, because this person is looking at the Six of Pentacles, they're trying to figure out a way to have a new start here. Financially or with another relationship that they were having issues with, okay? Hmm. See some sort of, I feel like this person has realized or has um, that there was some a certain level of unfairness or maybe they feel like this was their justice or it was fair for them to go and focus on whatever this family issue was, this other relationship that was in discord. They felt like that was more of a priority for them. Let's clarify the four of swords on the, this, on the left for this soulmate. I feel like this soulmate had needed to heal after this difficult, stressful, situation okay this soulmate may be having financial problems so i feel like this person just needs a new start to kind of get their stability back this person may on the right may have you know may have lost her job there could be some sort of um loss experience by the person on the right and i feel like they're focusing because the page is starting over starting something new i feel like they're trying to kind of get back on their feet okay or this could just be them trying to 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 bring some newness in a relation in a relationship that was in discord 
So the Four Swords. Four Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So this, there's no action being taken. This person stopped taking action. And they went into a period of rest to heal, to reflect. Clarify the Page of Swords. So this person stopped taking action because the Page of Swords here is someone that's deceitful. There was some sort of clarity about some deceit, some manip manipulation. This could be spying too. The soulmate may have been spying on the soulmate on the right. Clarify the page of swords in reverse. Clarify the page of swords in reverse. Too many cards. So I definitely see someone was deceitful. Someone wasn't honest. They feel like the soulmate on the right was not being honest. They feel like the soulmate on the right was not being um, clear. There was a certain level of confusion with the Ten of Wands. So I feel like they decided to no longer take action towards the soulmate on the right in order to get some clarity. Clarify the... Okay, the Page of Swords is being clarified by the Four Pentacles in reverse. So again, like I said, it, it already showed up here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So now we have the Four Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this person decided to let go. They decided to stop holding on to this because um, there was some sort of clarity around some sort of deceit. There could have been some stubborn energy too with the four pentacles in reverse. It's, this is, you know, them realizing that there was some sort of self-denial and why they were holding on to this soulmate on the right. And because they realized that they were lying to themselves, that's what kind of helped them let go of the situation. Clarify the four pentacles in reverse. Yeah, three of wands. Okay, so they realized that um, there was some sort of obstacle. Their, their ships didn't come in. You know, this is sort of like a failure. I don't want to say a failure, but they kind of turned their back on the situation because they didn't really feel like anything would come out of it. Okay, um, if this person lived at a distance, this could be a failed long distance relationship for some of you guys. Okay, if you are dating someone at a distance with the three of wands in reverse. Also, um, with the Three of Wands in reverse, for some of you guys, I feel that I feel like some of you guys um, may have attempted to revive the situation because we have a three and a three, you know. But then you realize that you were lying to yourself. You realize that it was time to let go because this person had you in some sort of third party situation. And you decided to cut away from that, okay, energy. This is a disappointment with the Three of Wands, okay? This is about um, treachery. This is about, you know, being frustrated because of the, the lack of um, improvement. It's almost like you feel like all the work and the effort you, th this so may, <laughs> you feel like all the work and the effort you put into the situ its situation was just time being wasted. You've wasted a lot of time. So this is a certain level of disappointment. Your ships didn't come in, okay? All the work you put in, you, there was no reward. Seven of Pentacles. All the work you put in, there was no fruits to your labor. N you know, Nine of Wands. All that work, all that hard work, only to have to give up on it because it became a burden with the Ten, okay? So, let's go to this soulmate, clarify the temperance. So the temperance, I didn't make sure I didn't. <laughs> okay, so this person also has a four. See, there's mirroring. So the four of pentacles on this side and the nine of wands. I feel like this person gained some sort of wisdom here with the hierophant. Um... There's a certain level of understanding with the Hierophant here. Why is the Hierophant here? Because I feel like they're, they got some clarity about letting go of some sort of commitment, something that they were committed to. This could be the institution of marriage. They got some sort of clarity here with the Temperance card. Because the Temperance is about balance. It's about patience. Um, it's also about healing. It's also about doing stuff, doing something in moderation. I feel like there was some sort of rigid energy. Somebody wanted to be in control. I feel like both soulmates held on, didn't open up, didn't express their true feelings. 
um, and this caused some sort of stalemate in the relationship. This stubborn energy is what caused this challenge here, the clashing here um, between these two soulmates. And I feel like with the Nine of Wands showing up after the Four of Pentacles, there's an ending. I feel like this person got some sort of clarity, some sort of intuitive hit, you know, with the Hierophant and the, and the Temperance. In regards to that, some sort of wisdom was gained about their behavior, okay, this soulmate. Because this was a behavior that they've been holding on to. I think of, uh, another thing that I'm sensing is this whole soulmate on the right um, was concerned with their social status. They were more concerned with fitting into society, what the society norm is, or they were doing something traditional. They weren't doing, um, I feel like they were doing something because it was socially accepted or was something that they felt like they had to do here with the Hierophant card. It was like they felt obligated to something. This could be the other relationship or family situation that I see. They felt like they were obligated to family. But whatever this mindset was, I feel like they're letting that go here, okay? Um, and then with the um, Justice card being next to that, they realized that there needs to be some sort of fairness because both of these cards, the Temperance and the Justice card, they both represent balance, okay? I feel like this soulmate, um, it's the same thing, holding on, not opening up. Um, and they were doing it because, again, they felt like this person on the right was being deceitful or they may have been the one lying. Okay, whatever, whoever is on, you know, just take what side resonates, okay? And not every single thing I say in a reading will resonate, but take the parts that do. So I feel like these two cards represent balance. We have the temperance, which represents balance, right? And then we have the justice card. She has the scales, you know, someone knows that they weren't being fair. And I feel like this is karma here. And because these are two major arcanas next to each other, there's some sort of divine intervention. Well, three, rather. Hierophant, temperance, justice, okay? It's some sort of intuition or some sort of lesson here. This person was being taught a lesson about something. And it was karmic justice. I feel like this person moving away or pulling back was to teach this person a lesson about balance and about fairness. Because this person may have not been fair to the person on the left. Okay, is what I'm picking up. I want to address the temperance card a little bit further because I almost feel like this person's spirit guides um, or their intuition kept nudging them. Kept nudging them, but I feel like this person was stubborn. This person was not listening here. Was not gaining... Uh, 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 the understanding of the lessons of, of, of why certain situations or challenges were apparent in the relationship. I feel like this person may have been so fixated on blaming others and they didn't take responsibility. And I think this temperance card here is kind of them now realizing or now taking responsibility for something, you know, for something because it represents healing too, okay? It represents balancing the emotions and the feelings. So I feel like there was some, some level of responsibility being taken um, after the fact, okay? It's a karmic situation, definitely, okay? But the temperance and the justice card. And again, someone was being forced to learn a lesson. They're being forced to learn independence, unity, and justice, okay? And it also tells of the need to achieve balance, harmony, and moderations in everything they do, okay? It's about showing your inner strength. It's about doing things, um, being patient and not doing things or making impulsive decisions. It's about showing your inner strength as well, okay? So this person was learning some sort of self-control, okay, whatever that means. So let's clarify justice. This is definitely karma. Some sort of self-control was being learned here. Clarify the justice card, please.
Okay, justice is being clarified by the Three of Wands. Interesting. So we had the Four of Pentacles here and the Three of Wands here, but this, this is in the upright. Okay. I feel like whoever this one person is on this side, their karmic justice is their ships or their ships will be coming in. Once they learn this lesson, um, or maybe this is still them needing to be patient and wait for their ships to come in. Because again, I feel like this person may have had some sort of financial loss due to this, you know, this is part of the lesson. They lost something. And the three of wands is, you know, it's usually positive, you know, with justice. I feel like the, it's like your reward is finally coming in, you know, after, you know, like I said, it doesn't have to be a reward because this person may not feel like this is this fair that this person is being rewarded. This person could be the one that's deceitful. This, because we have the page of swords here and plus we have indications of third party situation. You know, we have indication of a knight of wands, you know, this person may have been in and out, in and out, but they have pulled away, you know, they stopped taking action, they wouldn't open up, they weren't investing, this person may have not been investing because they thought it was too much of a burden, you know, but I'm going to clarify this further, the three of wands to me here clarifying the justice card is the justice is, you know, Either your ship's going to come in, some sort of long-awaited goal is being accomplished. Um, this is about gaining strength. Um, it could represent a partnership too, okay? I feel like it's talking about, you know, someone will come in for this person, but, the, you know, because this person moved on this person moved on this person but you know maybe felt like this person wasn't giving them equal give and take or financially they were having some hardship because here this you know there's two people begging so i feel like whatever this this justice for this person is that their shifts are going to come in okay either they're going to get another partner and it will be the right partner that will bring about positive energy for them okay i feel like they learn to persevere through all these difficulties here and they're, they learn to let go of things that don't serve them okay so there may be some sort of reconciliation with the temperance and this is karmic justice to reconcile or this could be a new phase a new journey a new relationship coming in okay i feel like this is some sort of progress being made okay the justices they learned the lesson progress is going to be made but again um i definitely feel like something about coming to terms with the past okay okay let's bring it in positive energy let's clarify the three of ones further whatever they've been waiting on is finally going to come in or the justice could be okay another way i'm seeing this karma is showing up here because this person put someone in a third party situation okay i'm also seeing that clarify the three of wands we'll see but that will make you know that will yeah see we have the nine of so I feel like this person had to wait for some sort of emotional fulfillment. They were waiting in limbo for a long time for this emotional fulfillment. They were unhappy. And I feel like whatever that was that they were waiting on or what, what was keeping them stuck or preventing them from, you know, getting whatever it was that they considered to be a goal, uh, their goal or their reward. I feel like there's an ending here with this hang. Well, there's an ending of that, you know, of that wait. For some of you guys, this will be needing to wait for a better auspicious, uh, a better relationship or a better situation. This person had to take time out to see things from a different perspective, to see why they were so unhappy. Okay. Clarify the hangman.
gonna call it Hangman, please. Ooh, the Hermit, yeah. I don't know if it was up, it kind of flipped out of my hand, but the Hermit, it fell in the reverse. Yeah, so again, because they weren't operating from their higher self, this lesson is going to cause them to gain the clarity because there was some sort of confusion or some sort of this, you know, some sort of um, deceit or manipulation. So whatever they were doing, they weren't operating from their higher selves. They were chasing, they were overindulging, they were being selfish, they were focusing on their self-fulfillment, um, and that was keeping them stuck. Okay. Or whatever they were searching for, they were looking for it in all the wrong places. And that was because they were not listening to their intuition. They didn't have the clarity they needed because they kept operating from their lower self. They weren't connecting to their higher self. So let's get back to the final outcome or the potential outcome. Ace of Swords in the Judgment card. So, wow, the Star card. <laughs> Ace of Swords being clarified by the Star in reverse. This is a... So this person here is getting clarity on why certain situations didn't work out in their favor or why a wish wasn't granted. Clarify the star. So this person is getting clarity of why on why a certain situation didn't go in their favor is because there was a lack of healing. Clarify the star in reverse. Star in reverse is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's because they had a lot of emotional baggage that they didn't, they they weren't walking away from. Okay. They were still holding on to past hurts and pains. And because the Eight of Cups in, is in reverse, so this is indicating that this person on the left needed to let go of things that didn't serve them and it's that repeating patterns over and over and over again okay because i look at the eight of wands as you know it's like this person is trying to go back i'm sorry the eight of cups i i, I apologize the eight of cups this person is trying to go you know this person is needing to walk away but it's like they keep going back and revisiting something or an emotion or repeating of some sort of pattern it's also, um, it can also mean the reverse can be joy. You know, now joy is coming back in after a period of sadness, after a period of despondency of feeling like a failure. This could be now letting go, releasing this emotional bagging, bagging, baggage. <laughs> that could be why we have this clarity here. This is a new way of thinking. Let's clarify the judgment. Clarify the judgment here, please. But I feel like with the Ace of Swords, this is a new ooh, Ace of Wands. It's a lot of cards. Ace of Wands, Strength, Knight of um, Swords, Nine of Swords, The Hermit. It's a lot of cards. Put those up. Let's reshuffle. King of Wands. Yeah, someone now is, you know, with this judgment, is now making a decision or judgment call here. And this could be forgiveness too for some of you, for first, whoever resonates with the soulmate on the left. Forgiving, possibly a, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this is a rebirth of the, your you know of yourself this is you now being confident this is you being strong and now you are in a position of not feeling like a victim not feeling helpless you know being courageous to move forward and take action in any direction you want to now okay so i feel like there was a feeling of it was some energy of being stuck 
feeling overburdened, feeling bogged down, feeling like you invested so much time in the situation, not getting anything in return. There could have been some um, a lack of recognition. There could have been, you know, again, some deceit, not being completely honest with people, starting relationships, but not really putting efforts in those relationships, or this could have, could have been happening to the soulmate. People were, they were in relationships where they weren't getting, um, where effort wasn't being put in. It was relationships built on faulty um, foundations, dealing with, you know, someone coming in and out, or they could have been the one, you know, this person could have been the one going in and out, okay? But now with this judgment, which is beautiful here with the Ace of Swords, this is now this person realizing, or there's this is the rebirth, this is the, the change here with the Ace of Swords. Cutting away of the old self, cutting away of the old habits, the old behaviors, the old emotions, cutting away from the past, and this is embracing a new beginning. This is karma being fulfilled here. Karmic. So whatever this karma was between these two people, karma has been fulfilled. This is an ending of a cycle. There will be a new beginning. This could be bringing in a new relationship for this person. New ambitions, new purpose, new plan. Okay, this is a revelation for this person. Like I said, with this clarity, there's a revelation here. This is very beautiful. So wonderful things will begin to happen for this person. Both people are going to get wonderful things happening. Both people have learned the lesson finally. They've moved on. They've healed. What the healing begins, and they have. There's acceptance between both parties. Okay. Um, so whatever the person now wants to, how they want to move forward. This is saying that they have the ability to have whatever it is that they desire. The changes that they desire, they're going to take action towards those changes. Um, they're being blessed with cosmic energy. This person's ships are going to come in. That is their karmic justice. This person's going to be blessed with new cosmic energies. Um, all this past effort that they were putting in to relationships, now they're going to get rewarded. Okay, their past efforts will yield positive results and rewards. Okay, it highlights any injustices in your life and it asks you to be inspired to work towards the future and accept that signs of material success will come later or accept whatever happened in the past okay because i feel like this person pulled away because there was a lack of success here okay so there there may be a little period of gestation a little bit of waiting but i feel like because they felt like there was blocks here with this page of pentacles I'm sorry, this page of swords being clarified by the four pentacles and the three of wands. I feel like that's a block, blocks, obstacles. I feel like now with this judgment card, this is now saying that there is a rebirth, there's new energy, and this is a new cycle where you can have a su successful relationship, okay? Because there has been a change in the behavior because the lesson has been learned, finally, okay? And then with the... Um, so it's like a, a renewal energy for this person and this person is now coming up as a king of wands male or female okay so you're confident now you're more ambitious you're more um positive you're more positive clarify the king of wands clarify the king of wands hangman in reverse Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords. So an ending of a difficult period, being getting unstuck, finally getting that clarity. He has he's in reverse. He was hanging, feeling stuck, feeling blocked, getting clarity, took a time out um, to heal, and the clarity has been gained. There is an emotional balance here. This could be this person is, you know, maybe this there's a, a, a water sign person because if this is if this person is a fire sign this could be your energy with the queen of cups or this could just be you finding your balance if this is you on this side this is you now being balanced emotionally okay um and then the ten of swords is an ending of a difficult cycle this is an ending clarify the ten of swords so 
So anything in the past that was keeping you stuck, holding you back, um, there's an ending to that. Yeah, and there's an, see? A decision was made to let go of some sort of partnership that was maybe more sexual based here because we see the Knight of Wands. Um, and now you're moving into your stability and your own happiness here, okay? A decision was made. This person may have made a decision between two soulmates and they pick one. And it could be that they picked this Queen of Cups. Okay? So let's look at the soulmate on the right. And then that will be the end of the reading. Ooh. Okay, the Queen... <laughs> I didn't even get to say what I wanted to say, but the Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Five of Cups. So this person feels here because this person on the right has some sort of regrets in regards to what they did in the past. Like I said, this was some sort of karmic lesson. This person, I feel like this person was in some sort of third party. Like I said, they were selfish. They were overindulging. They may have had a drinking problem. But this is them overindulging, possibly dealing with multiple people. We see here, giving to others. This is also can represent, because I mentioned that this is their ships coming in. This would be their karmic justice, but it's something that they would have to wait for. But I feel like if they act fairly, if they act justly, is when they would be rewarded with this. Because I feel like right now, because they're overindulging, they were stuck because this is the present energy. So let me re, you know, go back and rephrase that. Now that I'm looking at this, this is them now being stuck because they may, um, I feel like, okay, so justice is coming in because they now, there's some sort of understanding that they need to be more honest, upright. They need to act in, with their integrity in order to have, because they're experiencing some sort of loss due to their arrogant behavior, due to the way they were doing things in the past. So I feel like the justice is in order for them to, for their shifts to come in, they need to start acting with integrity because in the past they weren't it was keeping them stuck they were overindulgent they were you know the grass was always greener greener on the other side they may have been just focusing on their own happiness and neglecting everybody else and not caring how other people were affected by them their pursuits for their happiness okay they experienced some sort of level of loss but because of that loss they learned a karmic lesson because they were operating from their lower selves they weren't trusting they weren't listening to their intuition and they were going uh, against their own better judgment, okay? So now they feel some sort of regret or remorse because they were, you know, the, operating from the Knight of Wands energy, passion, lust, being reckless, making bad decisions, making impulsive decisions, right? So now they have a certain level of sadness here because of their past behavior is what I'm picking up for the soulmate on the right, okay? This person, you know, feels sad they're, and then I also feel like this person may, whoever, they may have started a new relationship with uh, Earth sign and they're now realizing that this person was not, whoever this person is that they may have thought would be a better choice, may not, they may realize that this person is deceitful, is deceiving them and that's part of the karmic justice, okay? What goes wrong comes around because of their past mistakes. Okay, or this could just be them, you know, being sad, um, not being balanced emotionally. Okay, clarify this Ace of Cups. So like I said, there might be someone new, but this person may not be. <laughs> this person may get a dose of their own medicine here with this um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's a female that's out, you know, she may just be out for someone's money. She may be, you know, using this person. If this energy is your energy on this side, you're now realizing the effects of your behavior. This could be male or female, the Queen of Pentacles. This is a general reading. So this could be, if this is your energy, if you're the cross watcher or the Cancer, you're realizing how your past behavior has affected you and your stability, both financially and emotionally, okay? Um, this is leaving you feeling insecure, fearful, suspicious. There may be a suspicious, uh, someone that you should be suspicious of that's around you that may be uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Clarify the um, Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? And the final outcome or potential outcome, rather. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very interesting. So definitely, I feel like this is um, 
Ace of Cups is coming up after a period of repeating multiple cycles, repeating the same mistake over and over and over again um, because of secrets, because of repressed emotions, okay? Again, melancholy, sadness, okay? Letting, it's like this person on this on the right side was hurt and because they were hurt, um, and this could have been from childhood trauma, this could have been from a previous relationship or experiences in their life, this caused them to behave in a man manner where they were uh, they were fearful of rejection and failure. So they had this attitude about them where they they were very selfish. There was a very selfish energy. There was a holding back. There was keeping people in the dark. There was keeping secrets, not being open. This was because they were trying to be, they, they were trying to avoid failure, but and ultimately was met with failure every single time they were doing something that wasn't upright, that wasn't justice, that wasn't fair, that wasn't in line or balance, okay? But I feel like with this, this moon, it's an 18, it reduces to a 9, there will be an ending of this sadness once you know this you know this lesson is learned i i stated that they've learned the lesson but now that i'm looking at this it, it appears that this lesson hasn't completely been learned they're there they're close to it clarify the moon and the world card together why are you presenting me with the moon in reverse and the not the world the world yeah the world card in reverse and the moon in the upright why are you presenting these two cards together they both represent some sort of ending culmination right Nine is about isolation. It's about um, seclusion, secluding yourself. Holding back or keeping something secret. I don't want to say that this is a secret per se, but I feel like their secrets or whatever it was that they were holding back or whatever it was that they weren't expressing, the repressed emotions, affected their behavior and it because they were so fixed because you know this could be a taurus aries i'm sorry taurus um aquarius it's not even aquarius give me a second is it aquarius yeah um taurus leo scorpio and aquarius i believe those are the fixed signs don't judge me if i'm wrong okay i believe so aquarius is a fixed sign but this person may have been fixed in their ways, uh, uh, you know, not wanting to change, repeating cycle after cycle after cycle. The moon also represents cycles. So I feel like there will be an ending of some sort of cycle that wasn't successful for them. Something that they kept doing, some sort of pattern that has to do with their emotions or how they're expressing their emotion or holding back emotion there's some sort of ending to that and there will be a new beginning where they will be more expressive, okay? And with that expression of emotion or being comfortable with their emotions, they're, they're in turn gonna be able to attract more um, fuf emotionally fulfilling experiences for them. So this is some sort of new beginning coming in to replace this energy here because there's some sadness here. This could also be, like I said, there was some sort of secret relationship. They thought that it was going to be successful, but they found out the sad truth was that it wasn't successful. They made an impulsive decision thinking it would be a new beginning. Okay, so that's another way I could see this. Yeah, <laughs> three of swords. So this, you know, this, this, like I said, some sort of pattern when jumping into relationship after relationship, seeking some sort of success. You know, seeking some sort of success only to find out that someone is just being played for their money. Some, you know, someone was being over generous while neglecting, while neglecting another connection. They were chasing, they were chasing, um, yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like there will be an ending of this, you know, there will be some sort of severance of some sort of relationship. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be a woman in their life that was bringing them a lot of strain. It could be a long drawn out cycle that they weren't able to let go of, but they're now confronting the lesson. They're confronting with the karmic. Well, remember karmic justice, karma is no respecter of man. They're, it's gonna come in 
and you're going to reap what you sow. This person is reaping their karma. Something is being severed. It's being shown here several times. This is a cancellation with this hermit energy. This is a nine. You know, this is a 10. This is a severance of a close relationship. Here's another nine. There's some sort of ending on this side. Let me clarify this three. And this could be an ending of this person dealing, having secret relationships to fulfill an empty cup. I feel like this person's cup was empty. So they were trying to fulfill it by overindulging in multiple relationships, jumping to relationship after relationship after relationship, trying to find some sort of newness, but it was never long lasting. So I feel like there will be an ending to that. Okay, clarify this through your source. But I definitely feel like there's a severance of some sort of connection. It could be with another queen. I don't think that the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles is the same person. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles represents a mother figure, a wife, um, or a committed partner. Someone that was um, possibly deceiving this person, some sort of woman that's, you know, deceiving this person. Or it could just be an energy of the being sad, being disappointed. Yeah, see? Seven of Swords. <laughs> Everything in dark must come to light. With this moon card, okay? Seven of Swords, looking back at this High Priestess. This is these secrets having to come to light. All right, Emperor. This person had, needs to, this is this is about, um, with this Three of Swords, this is getting to the heart of the matter or it's like almost like pouring their heart out, but not necessarily pouring their heart out, but all those repressed emotions, all those things that they repress, the traumas, they're needing to let that out, okay? Letting those emotions out to have a new beginning, okay? But in, in, in order for this new beginning to happen, there will be some sort of severance. Um, but that will put them in their emperor energy here, and that will start a new cycle um, where they can now experience a different, you know, the emotional fulfillment that they've been chasing after, ultimately, okay? Um, but I definitely do see, you know, there will be, so, uh, at the end of this, this is for July, but I'm, I'm not going to... I don't want to say it's just for July, it's for whenever you watch this. I'm not going to timestamp the video. Um, here, I don't know if you guys could see, um, but this is the Four of Wands. This person is going to have stability and happiness. I want to clarify this Four of Wands. So the one on the left, there is some sort of victory. There's some sort of new a change with that Ace of Swords you know, change of who they are, they've learned karmic, you know, they paid their karmic debt, and now there could be a new, new relationship, a new job, new, it just feels like it's a whole brand new experience. They went through a lot. And I feel like with the past energy, this is also talking about this person, not for this specific, just with this specific soulmate. I feel like this long, hard struggle love type of energy was something they experienced repeatedly it's a cycle a pattern um clarify the four of wands i'm gonna end there this was a super long video cancer but this is your birthday month <laughs> clarify the four of wands Ooh, two of cups in reverse yeah i feel like the happiness comes in when you end That relationship that no longer serves you. Getting yourself unstuck, unbounded to the soulmate. You're unbounding yourself. There's no more debt owed here. The con contract has been fulfilled. Karma has been fulfilled. So the happiness and stability comes in when you let go of that difficult cycle or difficult, um, those difficult cycles, past memories. And that relationship that just didn't, wasn't, wasn't for your highest good is when that happiness will come in for you. Okay. So that is your reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you watched it all the way to the end, I know it's super long. Um, you know, again, if it didn't resonate for you, if you felt like it was a little scattered and it wasn't your reading, it is a little bit hard to pinpoint, 
on the energies but i feel like i got a good grasp on what was what was going on um if it did resonate um please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know how it resonated um i didn't call out any signs but if you are in, if, you know i do see a leo aries i see uh scorpio i see taurus pisces another cancer um Virgo and Sagittarius okay oh and Aquarius <laughs> those are the signs okay that you know if you're dealing with one of those people I do see that okay so that is your reading